Magandang araw at welcome sa inyong lahat sa ating God's Word for Today devotional. It's a joy that we can be together again sa pangangaral sa salita niya this morning. At uh, basahin ko ang ating talata this morning sa 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 to 7. Si Elias na Tisbita na nakikimamayan sa Gilead ay nagsabi kay Ahab, habang nabubuhay ang Panginoon, ang Diyos ng Israel, ako'y nakatayo sa harap niya. Hindi magkakaroon ng hamog o ulan man sa mga taong ito, maliban sa pamamagitan ng aking salita. At ang salita ng Panginoon ay dumating sa kanya na sinasabi, Umalis ka rito, lumiko ka patungong silangan at magkubli ka sa tabi ng batis cheret na nasa silangan ng Hordan. Ikaw ay iinom sa batis at aking inuutos sa mga uwak na pakainin ka roon. Kaya't pumunta siya roon at ginawa ang ayon sa salita ng Panginoon, siya ay pumaroon at naninirahan sa tabi ng batis tiret na nasa silangan ng hudan. Dinalahan siya ng mga uwak ng tinapay at karni sa umaga at tinapay at karni sa hapon at siya ay uminom sa batis. Pagkaraan ng ilang panahon, ang batis ay natuyo sapagkat walang ulan sa lupain. Dito po natin makikita at mababasa ang pangalan ni Elias for the first time. And it's interesting to note na after he faced King Ahab, he was asked by the Lord to hide by the brook Chirith. And we will can learn principles here sa utos ng Panginoon sa kanya na magtago siya, magkubli siya by the brook Chirith. So verse 1, definitely magkikita natin yung courage ni Elias. It took courage for him to confront the wicked king Ahab na nagsasabi ng God's judgment na walang ulan o hamog na maramdaman ng buong kariya niya in the next few years. And sa verse 2, nagpakita siya ng Equal, equally the same courage naman. <clears throat> Because when God said him, said to him, umalis ka dyan at punta ka sa Brook Cherith at doon ka magtago, doon ka titira, sinunod niya, believing that God will sustain him there. The God who told him to do so, he, na knowledge siya that the same God will sustain him supernaturally. It's interesting to see here na galing sa spotlight kinuha si Elias to hide at the brook Chirut in solitude. Minsan, hindi natin maintindihan ang leading ng Panginoon. But if God will lead us like Elijah, are we ready to follow His directions courageously? Should it happen, do we believe that He has His best interest for us? Sometimes, nagdadawang isip tayo na, Lord, I'm just doing this and that. I'm already doing this wonderfully. Then, bigla tayong kinuha ng Panginoon to do something that is unknown and obscure. From the spotlight to solitude. The hiding at the obscure brook Chirith has a reason. It was preparing Elijah for the mountaintop experience at Mount Carmel. Ibig sabihin, before si Elias mapakigaway sa Mount Carmel against Baal, against the prophets of Baal, kailangan matuto siyang maghintay at the brook children. On the other hand, makita natin na along this command from, from God, mayroong pangako ang Panginoon na I will send you the rabbins there in order to feed you. 
nanalig din si Elias. Napakainin siya sa mga uwak. So the rabbins brought bread and meat morning and the evening regularly. Walang patas. Every day. Not only for weeks or months, but even for years. Ginawa ng mga uwak doon. It was no less than a miracle, hindi ba? How could unclean birds gather food daily, drop them at the same place at regular intervals for years? It's only because of God's sovereignty that this could be explained. Dagdagan pa, he saw that the source of his drink, the brook chiril, kumunti na kumunti. It was dwindling as the days unfolded. Kumunti ang tubig sa batis. Bakit ba? Because there was no rain at the mountain in the land. So, natural naman na kung walang ulan sa bukid o sa bundok, dito sa streams ay wala ding dumadaloy na tubig. Perhaps, ito po ang natanong sa sarili ni Elijah. Where could I get my next drink kung ang batis na ito ay matuyo na? Perhaps we are in a situation like that. We are brought into a situation where we need just to trust the Lord because God knows what He's doing. Our lesson na malar dito is that our faith is nurtured by our extended time of solitude with God. We have to learn to wait upon the Lord. There is no shortcut. Kung gamitin tayo ng Panginoon, there is a period of waiting and training in solitude. May maraming examples sa Biblia who had the same experience like Elijah. Isa dyan si Moses. Moses became unknown for 40 years. He was the prince of Egypt. He was the, the adopted son of Pharaoh. Practically, he was really at the limelight, at the stamp, uh, stamp, uh, spotlight. Pero, kinuha siya ng Panginoon doon. And he became an unknown shepherd at the backside of Pichon for 40 years before God visited him again and called him to be the leader of the Jews. Another example is Joseph. Joseph became a prisoner unknown, forgotten for almost 20 years before in one day, kinuha siya ng Panginoon to become the prince of Egypt. Si David ganun din. He was hiding in the caves before he became a king. So these characters are examples for us. Now there are times that we will have to pass through the time of waiting, training, being the, just being patient before God will use us. Undoubtedly, it was God's idea for Elijah to hide by the brook children. Hindi ba? Katulad din sa atin, when there are times and situations where God will pull us out from, from those situations and move us away from those situations into the unknown, di tayo magugulat. Because it's just temporary, training us for something in the future. Katulad ba sa isang kukun or chrysalis? hindi po mabubuo yung isang magandang butterfly if not for the larvae that will be formed through that period called chrys uh, chrysalis or cocoon. You know, days or maybe a few weeks na ang isang butterfly mabuo. Katulad din sa gagawin ng Panginoon sa atin, sa inyo. We cannot be like Elijah strong, courageous to face the prophets of Baal at Mount Carmel, if not for his waiting, nurturing of his faith by the brook Cheveth in solitude. Kaya nga sa umagang ito, we may say with the psalmist in Psalm 27, verse 13 and 14, I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage Wait for the Lord. 
Kailangan maniwala tayo that God is good. We should look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Otherwise, we will faint. May God bless us. Let us pray. Panginoon, thank you for your word this morning. Help us to be like Elijah and Lord, willing to obey you even in times that we cannot understand when we are at our wit's end. No, wala na po kaming maasahan kundi mag-depend sa inyo, Lord, 100%. Because you are teaching us to, to believe and trust you that you are our God. Who said in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that it is, for without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that believes on God shall believe that he is and that he is the rewarder to us who diligently seek you. This is how to trust you Lord even in the hardest times of our lives. And salamat po Panginoon sa example ni Elijah. Thank you that in his life you have proven that you are really faithful to your promise. And sana po hindi namin ito malimutan, but, continue, but ito pong aming encouragements and uh, strength for the rest of the day to really trust you, to continue to um, obey you. Because we know that you are always, our God is faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.